Hi, I'm Phil, an Applications Engineer here at United Electronic Industries. UEI provides support for all the major components of MIL Standard 1553, RTSAs, bus monitor, and the 1553 major and minor frame scheduler, or bus controller. We've also engineered a bus writer. It is a FIFO-based scheduler and does not require you to use major and minor frames. The bus writer will simply send any of the standard 1553 commands when you need it to. The bus writer uses the PC CPU. For more deterministic behavior, you can use our API to program the FPGA on our I.O. board. Our API allows you to access the complete functionality of all 1553 components through many programming languages. However, to provide you with an easy to use interface to exercise this functionality, we've created a graphical utility which is installed for you when you install our PowerDNA suite of software. This utility is called PowerDNA Explorer. Let's take a look at how easy it is to use. When PowerDNA Explorer powers up, it scans a range of IP addresses to find the Cuba rack. The range of addresses is configurable. As we can see here, PowerDNA Explorer has found the IOM, the cube or rack, and has identified several boards that are available to us. When I click on the 1553 board, I can configure the board and run it. We see two channels. Each channel can be all RTSAs, a bus controller, a bus monitor, or a combination of RTs and bus monitor, or a combination of bus controller and bus monitor. Today I'm using a 1553 loopback dongle, which is supplied with our 1553 I.O. board. The dongle we are using loops channel 0 to channel 1. So I will configure channel 0 to be the bus writer, and channel 1 to be RTs and a bus monitor. Now that I've added a bus writer, I'll add a command. I have a choice of the standard commands, but I'll select BC to RT, I'll select RT8, and SA7. I can send up to 32 words, so I will send 32, and I can have the system increment the words, so each successive word is different. I can then set the bus writer to send this command periodically. The default is 10 milliseconds, which I'll accept. I'll now configure channel one to be RTs and a bus monitor. You can see at the top, it says select remote terminals to monitor, and I'll enable all RTs. The next section enables the RT itself, and I will select all RTs and all SAs. Now I'll simply start the system and look for the data transfers. So as you can see here, a BC to RT command, a receive command is being sent from the bus controller to RT8 SA7, and it's 32 words. Now a nice feature of the system is that you can ask PowerDNA Explorer to automatically increment each data word on each successive command, therefore seeing data change with every command. As you can see here, this starts at C7, the next message starts with C8, and the next with C9. So I've just demonstrated PowerDNA Explorer, a graphical utility that allowed me to configure in less than 60 seconds, a bus writer to send 1553 commands, all RTSAs in the system, and a bus monitor to show you the data. Simply plug in your external device to one of our channels and you're off and running. Got a question or wanna talk about your specific application requirements? Give us a call send us an email 
or look us up on the web at www.ueidaq.com.